Oh, guys, you're right again. Detected G well, flying solo, Paul, uh, and with a special guest. This is another Paul. He's a bit shy, but this is what he's using. It's the Garrett 400i. Nice little machine. As I say, he's only just starting. He's found a few nails and stuff, but hopefully we're going to find a few coins today. So yeah, we're on my permission again at uh, the woods. So anyway guys, gym in spirit. And we'll catch you on the very first hole. On to the next, look at the weather. Absolutely beautiful instead of raining out. So yeah guys, I'll catch you on the first hole. In a bit. Well my friends, I've just landed. I'm in my woods again. Uh, it's a part we've not been on this one. And guess what's in the hole, guys? My first coin. There it is. Let me just give it a check out. Well, my friends, it's a threatening bit. I think it's a silver threatening bit. Bit crusty, but yeah, <laughs> not bad for the first five minutes. But you know what they say about that? All your other fans will be shanked. Anyway, guys, on to the next. Well, my lovelies, uh, I've had a couple of little bits, a few wrinkles, but I'm not really bothering taping them. But my next find is a lovely coin. And there we go guys, coin number two, I think it's a George. I'll just put you on pause. Right my friends, it's a George 5th, 1927, and guess who's on the line? Say hello James. Hello guys, uh, got some uh, exciting news coming up. Uh, I've been talking to Eddie Stobart, the company who uh, I believe. Uh, they put me through to a developer because they're buying land and I got the land that they're building on but I can't get on it until the next couple of months so hopefully we have a new field that we're going to find absolutely loads there's over 140 acres of land that we're allowed on and Although we should have it in the next few months. Well, guys, you heard it from the horse's mouth. Uh, James is like, uh, what who would you say? Uh, yeah, Sherlock Holmes. He keeps finding this land, don't you, James? I do, certainly do. Well, anyway, James is have to go to work, so he just gave me a nice phone call. Say goodbye. Bye, everyone. And Catch we'll see you on there. the next dig. Well, my friends, uh, Paul's going on all right, he's not doing so bad, he's found a few bits and bats. But anyway guys, the next coin. Just put you on pause. Well guys, it's a ship. George V. On to the next. Well guys. My mate Paul, he doesn't like showing his face, but he's got a good signal here. It's a big one! Well guys, imagine me all that is. I bet that's going on for 200 year old. What a fan! I bet that's seen some chicken's heads. I bet it's seen a bit of wood too. But yeah, I bet that could clean up, you know. So anyway guys, I'll chop you later. On to the next. It's shred. Shred. Golden shred. Well guys, Paul has just found a surprise find. Now we can't say it, 
but it's a golden shred it's a robertson's everybody knows what it is it's a golly what a fan cool guys golden shred golly still got all its paintwork but yeah Paul's frank today for coming on this camera so what do we say Paul <laughs> on to the next on to the next <laughs> well guys I found one of my most favourite things and it's the a little musket ball I love these there's history with these so anyway guys I must get on the next farm on to the next come on Paul you reckon well, this will vibrate keep your finger pressing it'll do it well guys uh, he's a rat turt but he's only gone and got his first silver guys and you know what this means dinner 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 Gin polish, spit and polish. It's a registered trademark. What is it, Paul? A registered trademark, spit and polish. Right, guys, I'll get back to you in a minute. Well, guys, it's a George. It's a shilling. And it's 1935. Look at that. And it's a coin spill. Oh, and it's a George. Let's just have a look at that. We've got ourselves a bit of a coin spill, everybody. Let me just give this one a clean up, guys. Well, guys, it's a little bit warm, but I think it's a Victoria. You can just make out a bust. Can't really get a date. But yeah, double coin in double the hole, guys. Coin spill. On to the next. Well, my little lovelies, I've just took my spade in and come up with another coin. Two P or not two P? That is a question. On to the next people. Well, guys, another signal, and it's another coin. Let me give it a brush. I'll just pause you for a minute. It's definitely a coin, guys, but it's a coin of nothingness. On to the next. Well, guys, Paul, the lucky sausage, silver number two, George the fifth, sixpence, 1932. And you can just see his head. On to the next. Double silver, guys. Paul's just shy. But, he'll soon get used to this. Anyway guys, double silver, on to the next. Well guys, me and old Pablo there, uh, believe it or not, Pablo's had a cracking day. Uh, he's not found so much, but what he's found is really good. So I'm just giving you a quick round up. We've found a bullet. It looks like a pen lid. Gold guys. A uh, couple of old coins, one of them's a Victoria, two of the Georges, the two pence piece, we can't go anywhere with the two pence piece, a couple of pennies, I think that's a threatening bit, silver one, uh, I'm not too sure what that is yet, I'll give it a good clean when I get home, that is just toasted, couple on pence, couple of little buttons, the biggest thing today, and the most impressive, 
is the axe head. God knows how dull that is. But, stair fans of today, guys. The musket ball. The golly. Some type of pin. But the stair fans today, guys, are the silvers. 1932 silver shilling George and the stair fan a George sixpence silver double silver guys double silver whoa silver we get Paul to do the silver dance but he's a bit frightened so yeah guys double silver Anyway my friends, that's another day done and we'll see you on the next haul. On to the next, bye for now.